I am your hostess, Calvin J. Williamson, and today I'm coming to you with our Quaff Cafe signature mud pie hair cleanse that actually has been on Duarte Natural site since like November or December, babe, I think it was. And whenever it was that I first became an actual affiliate of Duarte Naturals, and so um, I'm just now getting around to actually doing the uh, video for the kit. So of course, this is for the DIYers or the budding DIYers that want to get a good um, start on actually making their own product. So everything is uh, a, a raw ingredient product, and so you actually know what is going into your hair. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and go through what actually comes with the Mud Pie Hair Cleanse. You get two ounces of bentonite clay. Bentonite clay is a clarifier and it is also considered to be an Ayurvedic ingredient. The uh, pH of bentonite clay is high, so all of my high porosity folks, this will be great as a once a month clarifier cleanser for you, um, especially a lot of no pooers like to use bentonite clay. So you get two ounces of bentonite clay. You get two ounces of Dwafe's hair conditioner base. I love this stuff just by itself. It's, it's just a really, really great product. Um, but you get a two ounce conditioner, um, hair conditioner base. You get one ounce of aloe vera juice. Aloe vera juice is, um, has a low pH. So this is what's used to balance the pH of the clay so that it'll bring it back down to near the, the pH of your natural of you know of your hair the natural pH of your hair you will get one ounce of castile soap and this is our quote unquote surfactant for this actual um for this actual mud pie hair cleansing kit um and so this is also our cleaner and in uh, in addition, you also get a half ounce of olive oil. Now, this kit also comes with a nice mixing bowl. Everything fits really nicely. And this is a one application kit for $8.50, and it is offered on Dwafe Naturals' um, website. Of course, you can order this signature kit, this Quaff Cafe signature kit, through my website, www.thequaffcafe.com. That is T-H-E-C-O-I-F-F-E. -F -F -E. Well, hold on, did I spell that right? See, this is why I can't be in no spelling bee. Seriously? Let me do like a kilo. T-H-E-C-O-I-F-F-E-D-C-A. F E dot C O M the cross cafe dot com. But why it worked though? Dot S L O W. Go ahead. Okay, because I'm making sure that you spell that right since you got so much to say. Anyway, so this is your this is the actual one application kit that you will receive when you order through my website. You might you will need um, you may need some additional water because you don't want this to end up being like a plaster of Paris on your hair. You want it to be a nice consistency. So I also have, um, about three ounces of water here. Of course, I'm not going to use three ounces of water. Your kit also comes with a nice applicator bottle. And in general, you just need to have an applicator bo bottle because it just makes hair cleansing and conditioning so much easier. Lord, I need to catch my breath, child. I want ready for that. I want ready for that. No, no, no. And of course, if you already have these items, just hey, put them together, and you can make yourself a mud pot, a mud pot hair cleanse. That's probably good to use. I would say uh, for low porosity people, it's safe and generally enough to use twice a month. So maybe like every other wash, and then my high porosity folks, you know, stick to the once, stick to the once a month. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start, get started. We're going to get to mixing this together. And I have some other little stuff that I like to add to my, my DIY kit. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and empty out five, not five, two ounces of this bentonite clay. 
is going to go in here. We're going to go ahead and empty out our one ounce of aloe juice. You know what that looks like is? Never mind. I should have just opened that. We can go ahead and start mixing this together. Now, clay is not as volatile as... Uh, it's not as volatile as baking soda, even though the pHs are, are, are similar. If this was baking soda, when it mixed with that aloe juice, baby. And you're gonna have to put some elbow grease in it because clay can be something else. And it also absorbs quickly. So actually I am going to go ahead and add the rest of that. And we are mixing this together. If you have longer hair, you might want to make this a little bit thinner. Child, this clay is acting a mess, Saint. Here we go. This can get messy, so be sure that you have on something that you don't mind getting messy. So you're going to put some elbow grease in it. I'm going to go ahead and add my Castile soap to help loosen the process. It can be difficult. And sometimes it might seem like you're stirring forever. All right, y'all. So I have mixed the bentonite clay, water, aloe juice, and the Castile soap. And baby, let me tell you something. This arm, this right arm, I know I'm going to have me some uh, Popeye muscles because this put a, a, a working on my arm. But anyway, so your, your clay mix is going to come out to be about this consistency. I went ahead and probably used about two ounces of water. So I have about three ounces of liquid. That's two ounces of water plus the one ounce of the aloe juice that I have mixed with this two um, ounces of bentonite clay. And you can pretty much make it to the consistency that you want. Some people like uh, their clay mixes to be a little bit more... Um, more thin, um, especially if you have longer hair, um, it's just easier to maneuver and rinse out. Uh, okay, so this is our actual clay mask, and some people just stop right here. It's just they put water, aloe juice, and um, minus the castile soap, they'll put water and aloe juice with the clay, wash their hair. But some people complain about um, have complaints about stuff being a little bit too dry, so that's where our hair conditioning base comes in and our the oils that we're going to add. So I'm going to go ahead and add our conditioner base to this mix. And I'm going to go ahead and just put the whole thing in because I'm going to make enough for however long it will last, last me. Now, if I was finished, if I was selling this as a finished product, of course, I would add some type of preservative, be it, um, be it uh, potassium sorbate or optifin. I think that's 
Optimum. I think that's how you say it. Um, but I am team no water mix, uh, water based mixes from scratch to sell. I'll give you a DIY video on that all day. But um, I don't sell water based uh, mixes. It's just not my thing. So now this is a thick. Because we got the conditioner base mixed in. And this would almost be like a mask if it didn't have the uh, Castile soap mixed into it. So this is kind of thick. So I'm going to go ahead and add this um, additional ounce of water. Maybe that's like a half ounce of water to make sure that it's thin. Because we don't want it to be, you don't want to cake nothing on your yeah. But you do want it to be nice and uh, moisturizing and cleansing at the same time. And I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of that water. I'm going to mix it just so that we have a nice consistency. Now, if you leave the, um, some people will leave out the castile soap and use this as like a conditioning, a detox conditioning mask. Um, and again, it's, it's, it's really your, your preference. And it is, I mean, it's, it's thick. It is. It's thick. And this is actually the consistency that I like. I like a thick uh, clay mask when I am using it as a cleanser. Now, in the kit, um, the kit comes with a half ounce of olive oil. However, I recently realized that olive oil um, is hit or miss with my scalp. So, instead of using olive oil, I'm going to sub the olive oil with uh, Dwarfe Naturals avocado oil. I'm just going to add a, um, I'm going to start with a half ounce. Probably about two capfuls. Try two and a half capfuls. And we're going to mix that in there. Avocado oil is a humectant. So it helps with drawing moisture on humid days. Helps with drawing moisture onto into your strands near your hair, so you have be nice and moist. I want moist hair, oh moist hair, oh moist hair. And for good measure. Peppermint oil is like one of my favorites, so I'm going to add about 20 drops. That's 21. <laughs> 21 drops of peppermint oil. It's peppermint essential oil that can be purchased at Dwarfe Naturals as well. It's not in the kit, but if you have some of that, throw it in there. Oh, yes, it's strong. Ooh. They just made it up. Yes. Light it up, light it up. So it'll condition. I should, sorry. I should have thought that out a little bit more. All right, so we are ready to apply. Now, this is the texture that I usually like. Again, you can make it thinner. You can use half of the ingredients, add more water to make it more of a clay liquid uh, cleanse. And then you can add it to your applicator bottle. But I'm just going to apply directly from this bottle. I'm just going to apply it directly to, um, from this bottle. Um, I have been pre-pulling for about 30 minutes with, um, with the hibiscus chamomile tea blend that I just had, that I just threw together. Don't you hate when people, I'm not saying that I'm an expert, but you know, people that are into the things that they're into and they're like, oh yeah, I just threw this together and you know, it, it took nothing. So yes, this is my hair punch that I just threw together. And so remember when you're pre-pooling, a lot of people think you have to have oils to pre-poo. No, you don't. You don't have to have oils to pre-poo. 
I uh, typically saturate my hair whenever I'm doing stuff like this just so that it's uh, easier to part my hair into sections and all that kind of stuff. So um, I, I drench my hair. Some people, I guess they call it a bagging method or whatever, but for all intents and purposes for this video, I um, drenched my hair, saturated my hair with this um, hair punch. A, video will be, a DIY video will be coming soon with this. And I just let it sit on my hair with a bag, okay? I'm going to take my ring off. And I'm just gonna start applying. So I would take, I would start with this section here. And I'm just gonna apply. Apply to the hair. Hopefully, my husband's gonna give me an edge, bless God. And I will massage down to my scalp once it is all applied. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this to my entire head. And then we will be back so that you can see the full application of the Mud Pie Hair Cleanse DIY Kit. Alright, so I am done. I have completely um, covered all of my hair with the Mud Pie Hair Cleanse. And I am ready to rinse. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a few more shots of my hair punch here. My scalp is nice and tingly because I added some uh, peppermint oil to the mix. So you want to make sure that you vigorously massage your scalp. And I am ready to rinse. I am ready to rinse. So remember, the one application, which is the small, uh, which is the small mud pie hair cleanse kit. One application comes with two ounces of bentonite clay, one ounce of castile soap, one ounce of aloe vera juice, and a half ounce of olive oil. And if you don't like to use olive oil, you can always substitute with any oils that you may have in the house. But the actual kit itself comes with those items plus the two ounces of the conditioner base a mixing bowl, and an applicator bottle. If you have any questions about this uh, product that is exclusively offered through Dwarfe Naturals site, you can comment below. Send us an email at quaffedcafe at gmail.com. Um, find us on Facebook. You can add, uh, ask questions on there. If you're friends with me on Facebook, inbox me any questions you may have. Hey, if you already have these ingredients laying around the house, go ahead and put them together and try our mud, my, my, my mud pie uh, hair cleanse kit. Um, so, yeah, just do what you do. This is going to get rinsed out, and um, I'm probably going to put some castor oil on my scalp because that's the only thing that keeps my scalp issues at bay. And then I'm going to put some two-strand twists all over, uh, seal it with some um, sugar fit hair shortening. That is our flagship product at the Quaff Cafe. Yeah, so remember, great. you can purchase all of these ingredients separately, or you can purchase the kit itself by going through my Dwarfe Naturals affiliate link. Thank you so much for watching this episode of the Quaff Cafe, and I will see you later. Bye.